Don't forgive me for this trap shit. Sergeant Smack make it backflip. Telly Hank it with the action. With the vato speaking Spanish. Frank Matthews, how I vanish. Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut. Gold BBS is on a beamer. When Fat Cat was tearing queens up. Fall off the prop and not the re up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus. Uptown like I'm Baby Man. Just caught a touchdown. Driving through Baton Rouge, this is just one of the digital billboards that you can expect to see. A warning, enter at your own risk. According to BRPD, there were 69 homicides in all of 2019. So far this year, at about the halfway point of 2020, the count is at 46. That's why this is one of the billboards you will see. 46 homicides in 7 months with a caution warning to enter at your own risk. For example, this past weekend alone, police say there was a shooting at Plank and Evangeline with over 100 rounds fired. It's why this gas station has plywood up to cover the bullet holes. There is also the number of non-fatal shootings, but that's information that some have said is tracked, including the former statistician for the Baton Rouge Police. But BRPD has said in the past they do not track that number and have it readily available. It's why the union says getting these billboards up is crucial in letting Baton Rouge citizens know the reality. We're uh, we have Montrell Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, he's wanted for first degree murder here in Baton Rouge, amongst other things. Uh, we believe that he has some uh, drug trafficking organization here in Baton Rouge between here and Texas. Uh, it's our detectives along with the uh, uh, ATF. We're working together in an attempt uh, to catch Mr. Harris been very active in this area. Uh, we uh, also believe he's been uh, linked to several murders here in Baton Rouge. Uh, if uh, he's been, uh, we believe, indirectly involved in the murders by paying individuals to go and kill uh, persons that he may have issues with. So we, we're asking for the community here in Baton Rouge. Uh, we know he has family here. Uh, we're using the national coverage in an attempt to uh, get his name and his information out there in hopes of us uh, catching him. Now, we've been looking for him for some time. We know that he is on the run. Uh, we believe he has monies in an attempt to uh, provide an opportunity for him to stay out there. So we're asking for individuals to assist us in catching this this individual. He's a bad dude and he's uh, caused havoc here in the Baton Rouge area. Uh, he's been involved in uh, a major drug ring that has crossed state lines. Uh, we feel it's necessary uh, that we get him off the streets uh, to, we can, to where we can bring him to justice and he can face uh, the multiple murders that he's been involved in and um, answer to uh, all the drugs that he's put out here uh, in the Baton Rouge area. The, the murder arrest that we have uh, here was a, a murder that was uh, committed and happened April 22nd, 2017 mm -hmm. in the 4100 block of Winburn Avenue. Now, uh, we've had different agencies go after this guy in an attempt uh, to, to have enough evidence uh, to where we could prosecute uh, him for the crimes that he's committed. Uh, now we have individuals that are assisting us uh, with our investigation. They're coming forward. We want people to know that uh, we have an award, an award that has gone up to fifteen thousand dollars for information leading to his arrest. Along, now this is completely separate. Along with the monies, if they decide to call Crime Stoppers, monies that they can get from Crime Stoppers. So it can be a combined uh, dollar amount. Uh, the Crime Stoppers monies along uh, with uh, the other monies that's available for his arrest that is in total of uh, 15000 Now, that's 15000 plus an additional amount uh, from the Crime Stoppers uh, monies that they could possibly get. If they give us the information that would lead to his arrest uh, and, uh, and upon his conviction. 
whispers about who could be behind a rash of deadly shootings from 2017. But those answers are leading to bigger questions about what police say is a dangerous drug ring in Baton Rouge. Lester Douay explains. These arrest warrants reveal some dark workings in Baton Rouge. They center around several deadly shootings in 2017, but investigators believe at least two murders were ordered by the head of what they call an extremely violent group of large-scale illegal narcotics traffickers. Police arrested Dexter Collins this week. He's facing charges in two cases. According to these records, police believe in April of 2017, Collins and several others ambushed Lorenzo Dixon, a local rapper known as Zorilla. This video shows the aftermath on Winborn Avenue that day. Police records claim that the unidentified ringleader of the organization ordered the murder, promising the suspects money, drugs, or even a higher position in the group. Five months later in September, another deadly scene in Baton Rouge. Two men, Harold Anthony and Donovan Cummings, were gunned down in broad daylight on Thomas Delpit Drive. Investigators now believe Anthony was one of the group's drug dealers. During the investigation, officers talked with a potential witness, David Walker, although investigators say he insisted he knew nothing about the shooting. Hours later, another round of gunshots left Walker dead on Seneca Drive. Based on witness accounts, investigators believe the group's leader lured Walker out with drugs and ordered Collins to kill him. Baton Rouge police declined to give an interview about the cases, saying the investigation is ongoing. The name of the ringleader has not been released, but the warrants say there may even be more cases out there linked to this drug trafficking ring. Lester Duay, WAFB, 9 News. Along with Collins, police also arrested this man, Kelvin Phillips, on murder charges. He's accused of being the getaway driver during the April 2017 murder. A man accused murder. of three different murders in Baton Rouge is free tonight. He doesn't have to worry about bond obligations, ankle monitors, or checking in with anyone on his whereabouts. Our chief investigator, Chris Nakamoto, reports on why people in Baton Rouge should be a little more on edge tonight. Michael Sylvia, Dexter Collins wasn't billed within 60 days of his arrest. That combined with the lack of evidence to indict him, led the jail to open the gates and allow him to walk free. Dexter Collins has a rap sheet that includes multiple arrests for drugs, three different murders, and much, much more. But Collins was freed from jail on a technicality recently. And we believe that there's sufficient probable cause to base his arrest on those. Our review, which is a whole lot more detailed review, ours is based on a beyond a reasonable doubt standard and now a 12-0 verdict uh, that we, we face. Despite there being probable cause, prosecutors didn't believe there was enough for a conviction. Collins never formally billed. So he was cut loose after filling out his own paperwork leading to his release. Collins mailed it certified from the East Baton Rouge Parish Jail. Investigators believe Collins was a hitman responsible for three different murders, starting with the shooting death of Lorenzo Dixon in 2017. Five months later that year, he was accused of killing David Walker on Seneca Street. Walker was a witness to a double murder less than 24 hours before he was murdered. I feel that what was done to him was low down and dirty and was not right. It was this shooting in the bottoms that sparked retaliation and a concern from police three years ago. Are we going to saturate the area this afternoon because the community is, is reaching out to us for help and we're, and we're going to do the best that we can uh, to give them uh, the protection. While Collins was in custody for the murders in 2017, police charged him with the cold case murder of Tangie Swanson in 2008. Swanson was found shot to death outside of a store on East Boulevard. With three murders, police say Collins committed. There's evidence that there's not. The district attorney says Collins was let go due to a lack of evidence that could lead to a conviction. The streets, quite possibly, a little more dangerous now. I think everyone has to use uh, caution wherever they are. You, you know who people, they know what goes on, the people do. And so we need help from the people. And so, sure, I think everyone should always be cautious, particularly dealing with someone they know. District Attorney Hiller Moore says the murders Collins is accused of remain under investigation. If additional evidence comes forward, the case could go before a grand jury. For now, though, it's like those arrests never happened. Sylvia, my yo, yo, we back. It's your boy, Pop a lot. Mob ties. We on our way to Baton Rouge with it. On my next plan, oh, y'all niggas get in the comment box. This shit got strong ties to Spring, Texas. Like, what the fuck is that? 
All my niggas from Texas, I need y'all in the comment box because I'm lost around this bitch. My GPS not working. Now, you know, today we are going to be covering a guy by the name of Martel Harris. But we definitely could be covering a guy by the name of Dexter Collins based on media coverage and uh, District Attorney Hilla Moore, who we all know and love from the Lil Boosie trial and pretty much every case that we have coming out of fucking Baton Rouge and New Orleans, it seemed like. Yeah, no shout out to you, Hilla Moore. But uh, pretty much we got a lot to wrap up. Y'all seen that. So this case is going pretty much start or root in 2017 with the murder of, well, they say popular, but I'm going to say almost semi-underground rapper uh, Lorenzo Dixon, better known as Zorella, R.P. to Zorella. Um, now, if anybody knows Zorella, uh, y'all kind of really know. Yeah, he has some street music. He's a rapper from Baton Rouge. Um, right around that time, I'm thinking, like, um, I can remember when G-Money was killed. I can't remember what year that was, but I'm going to think it was close because a lot of these seem like just based on my memory and it's just thinking it seemed like they happened really really close to the same time but yeah the authorities are going to allege um that he had some kind of responsibilities for that um it's going to be state authorities um they also tie him to another killing by the guy uh, by the name by a guy by the name of david walker and they also tied dexter collins to that and the crazy thing is the charges that they were facing, they all originated in 2020. Um, they even investigated them for cold case homicides, like the shit going back to 2017 that we talked about, but even one prior to that. So this shit is deep. It's not no round the corner type shit. But the kicker comes in towards the end because now we sit in 2021 and based on my research as of February 2021, as we've seen, Dexter Collins was released. And also as of May 2021, I saw that Martel Harris was released on bail. It looks like he's still facing those charges. So we wish the best to Martel Harris we gonna pretty much probably watch him spank these charges because it seemed like they can't touch him. Federal investigators said that they couldn't touch him um, or they've been investigating him for a decade. So uh, it's a lot of smoke going on, but they really ain't showing no fire or nothing like that. But the one thing I could always, uh, well, I, I just get the itchy feeling about this case is what I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all already know, man. Y'all see them niggas, man. Y'all better not fuck around because they ain't playing with, they ain't playing with you, you, or you. And the second thing, I'm falling back because I could smell the federal government or some shit like that. But y'all already know what it is. Your boy pop a lot, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. We're going to be back with some more real trill spill shit. It's the mob. Y'all already know what it is, man. Mob, 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 ties.